I'm very competitive, Carla, you little <laughs> Hey guys, it's Carla, and I'm here in the Bon Appetit Test Kitchen today with James Beard nominee, Trixie Mattel. Yes! <laughs> it means something here. Most places people are like, what now? Your beard what? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So today we've got 30 minutes to make strawberry shortcake from scratch. Oh my, I've always wanted to, I've actually always wanted to learn to make this. This is very today exciting. Today is the day. So we're gonna see if Trixie can follow along with me through verbal instructions only. It's more like a living, breathing recipe for you. Hey, any boyfriend I've had knows I love verbal. So let's like, <laughs> let's do it. All right. All right, so on the count of three, we're gonna turn around and just start cooking. Do you wanna okay. count us off? Yeah, Th uh, one, two, three. <laughs> Ta-da. Okay, Trixie. Yes, I got on my apron. I love it, by the way. <laughs> it's really classy, right? Yeah, after this, I can take a shift at the Yankee Candle. That's right. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, you've got an egg and a little uh, measuring cup of buttermilk. Have you ever separated an egg before? Yeah. Okay, so we'll go over it. We're just- I said yeah. <laughs> okay, so just crack the egg. Let the white go back into the um, bowl that the egg was in. Oh, just the white. So crack your egg open, try to get your yolk separated, and dump the yolk into the uh, measuring cup with the buttermilk. Oh, we want the yolk. We want the yolk. Oh. Did the yolk break? The yolk, honey. <laughs> She's got yolks. Where does it go? The yolk just goes into the buttermilk. Throw it in there. Throw it in there. And then with the fork, just mix that yolk into the buttermilk. One time in family consumer economics, we had to make a cake from a box. Oh, okay. Not to like intimidate you, but. So that was in school, you had like home ec? Yes, I, I graduated wish... from high school. I know it might surprise you. But they didn't, I wish there was home ec. There's no home ec anymore. Well, now they call it family consumer economics because I think home ec had sort of a, a, a suggestive vibe that it's just about not having a job. Got it. Okay, so once your yolk is in, I want to turn the oven on. Okay. So now turn your attention to the flat bowl of flour that's set on the scale. And then there's four little bowls like set right in front. Of course. And then all four of those are going in. We got baking soda, we got baking powder, we got salt, and a little bit of sugar. And so that all goes in. And then out of your, um, there's like a metal container with tools. I just want you to whisk that together. <sighs> Whiskey business. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually never heard that one before. Really? Really. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now um, find the on off button for the scale. Oh God, I didn't know there would be a weighing today. There's some This weighing. is my winter weight. I had to weigh in for a, a flight on a prop plane recently. I was on a flight once to Provincetown <laughs> and there was all these gay guys and they, they you have to weigh your bag and yourself and yeah. all these gay guys were like, Jettisoning. I'm 130, <laughs> I'm 120. And I got up there like, um, I'm 400 pounds, because like this plane is not going down it's all because you're lying on. about your weight. <laughs> Turn the scale on, and then I want you to hit the gram ounce button yeah. until we get to ounces. Okay, zeroed out. Zeroed out, okay, cool. Now grab this block of frozen butter that should be on the little metal tray in front of you, and we're just gonna grate in using the um, box grater with the large holes, grate the butter directly into the flour mixture. And just keep an eye on the scale, but we wanna get up to, um, three ounces. So what do you do in the kitchen if you have full coverage foundation all over your hands and arms and you're supposed to wash your hands every few steps? That's a really great um, question. Do you wear makeup when you cook? I do, but I just try not to touch my face. It yeah. all comes off. Any makeup that I had at the beginning of the day is definitely gonna be gone. All right, I'm at three ounces. I'm almost there. Okay. Huh. Yeah, that's it. So when you're cooking at home, what do you do with the makeup? Honestly, I'm in drag so much. I've learned to do pretty much every single thing in drag. The only thing you can't do in drag at this point <laughs> is exercise. I would like to see that though. Yeah, it's kind of like Romy and Michelle. I'm on the treadmill and like clogs, you know what I mean? <laughs> And then you get on the scale and go, did you remember to deduct 16 pounds for your shoes? Exactly. All right, okay. so now you can kind of lift the bowl up, get the scale out of here. You can just push that forward. And then with your fingertips, I just want you to go into the bowl and toss everything together just to coat the butter and flour. And we're just like not doing anything but giving it a little toss. And that should just take a few tosses in there to coat the Yeah, coat the I butter. got it already. Okay, great. So now, go back to that little buttermilk and egg yolk mixture that you made. Yeah. And I want you to drizzle the buttermilk in while you toss everything around with the fork. And Got that's it. just because like, you don't want the buttermilk to go down into one spot. And we just want to hydrate the flour. Sure. So just drizzle, drizzle. 
The James Beard people were right about me. There's <laughs> a lot were, of untapped potential they didn't here. They know. You should win for this one, though. I gotta be honest, I didn't get to go to the awards, but they asked me to present, but I couldn't go because I was touring. Yeah. And I wanted to go so bad, because I was like, I will never <laughs> get nominated for this again. So like, you I have to, and I, I couldn't never. go. And I lost to a straight person, Ugh. typical. So now we're gonna go back in with your hands, and this should look pretty shaggy and dry. I just want you to kind of like, lift everything up and give it a gen gentle kneading until it just starts to come together, but just be, a light touch is key for a tender biscuit. So just sort of squeezing everything together and trying to bring some of the loose bits into the mix. I uh, like this. It feels, re I mean, this, it just already feels like super, like tender and a little bit bouncy. It, yes, it feels like, um, are you familiar with cold foam latex prosthetic appliances? I am not. Well. What are they used for? Looks like I've got something to teach you today. <laughs> All right, so once that kind of is together, dump the um, flour mixture onto the work surface. Just it right looks like scrambled eggs. Yeah, it's still pretty clumpy. And you can put the bowl like way out of the way and just put the biscuit batter onto the work surface. Oh, dump it out. Yeah, dump it out onto the counter. All right, so now you're just gonna use your hands, kind of gather it from the sides, push it into maybe like a pretty compact little rectangle and then press it down so it's about one inch thick. Are you telling me that you just threw this thing on the table and now you're just shaping it into a rectangle? Yeah. Okay. I want you to get a rectangle that's like one, about one inch thick just by sort of patting and pressing. It just feels so primitive. There's a little tray over by the toaster oven and it's got a bench scraper which looks like a metal thing with a black handle. Using that, cut your dough into quarters. Okay. So just go, cut it in half across. I think I use one of these to put makeup on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then we're gonna stack those up right on top of each other. So it doesn't matter who's on the bottom, just like put the four. This shit you're doing is wild. <laughs> so this makes flaky layers when you do this, and then it also um, helps the dough like get recombined. All right, do you have biscuit tower? Yep. Okay, great. So now just use one hand and smash it down and start pressing it out again into that one inch thick. You want me to smash it again? Just smash it. Just press it straight down. And they're all gonna like become one again. If you feel like it's um, sticking to your hands at all, there's a little bowl of flour. I need a little flour on my hands and now I'm just like pressing and patting until it's an inch thick again. I should press it back down to an inch? Yeah, press it back down to an inch. And then we're gonna cut out four rounds. So now just dip the little round cutter Dip that in the flour just to flour the um, sharp edge. Is it that, that, that thing again? No, the round, you should have a round biscuit cutter oh, on this your tray. Thing. Mm -hmm. Put the first one pretty close to the edge and um, you wanna punch out four. Position the first one sort of close to one corner instead of going right in the middle. Girl. <laughs> What's happening? I'm turning this out. <laughs> I can't wait to see your biscuits. I know you're thinking drag queens, like we're only good at a few things, you know, like no, that's drinking not... and taking Ubers, but <laughs> we're more layered than that. In my experience, the drag queens are extremely resourceful. Eggs, well, hello. All right, one, two, three, four, and they all go side by side. Is everybody cut out? Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. So next thing, we're gonna brush the tops of these. There's a pastry brush. And yep. a little dish of cream. Just brush the tops of your biscuits with cream. How much is too much? Just like. Just a, like a, a, you know, like a primer coat. So now, little dish of the um, kind of coarse brown sugar and <laughs> sprinkle that over the tops. I, just, I have a sold out show at Webster Hall tonight, and it just occurred to me that I'm spending the morning in drag making biscuits. <laughs> like, get a fing life. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so, drag is so stupid. You never know what, where you're gonna end up. Okay, what's happening? <laughs> just sprinkling sugar on the tops of all of these. Is it I wanna sugar hear in the from raw? you tomorrow what was more fun, making biscuits or your sold out show at Webster Hall. I have a feeling I know. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the real mess though, be honest. <laughs> who like real, and this isn't like against them, but who really misunderstood the assignment? Shangela was the worst cook in America, and she <laughs> was, she made deep fried churro donuts, and it was incredible. You All should right. see her sew, because girl, <laughs> it gets worse. All right, biscuits in the oven. Do it. Close it. You have a timer. <laughs> it's set to 20 minutes. 
hit start on that guy. So Trixie. you had you had Shangela and you had Cracker. I had Shangela and I had Cracker. I am the third drag queen. You are. Okay. And you know, you know Cracker's Cracker's Jewish. We made latkes together. Oh, I love that. So we got deep into Jewness. How but delicious. I'm, I'm not Jewish. I'm just Jewish. Carla, <laughs> don't hurt yourself with the heavy lifting with the comedy, please. Okay, we're just gonna cut the tops off of these strawberries. Strawberries are my favorite. Fruit. I'm getting to this. My trainer told me that his cheat food, sometimes he craves grilled chicken breast. Oh, stop it. I was like, really? Sometimes I crave a hot can of wine. <laughs> so like, just so you know where I'm at. So now all your strawberries, just yep. scoop them up, put them into the saucepan. Yep. And then we're gonna take the whole lemon. So now zest about half of your lemon right over your strawberries. I've seen bartenders do this. Yeah. See, talk to me in terms I know. <laughs> Relate it to the gay bar. Okay, now cut your lemon in half and just set it aside. We're gonna use the juice a little later. And then you've got half of a vanilla bean. We have to cut this in half, like lengthwise, you know, and it's very thin. So you're just gonna kind of slide the knife to bisect it top to bottom. Oh my God. <laughs> I did not know this is what vanilla was. Yeah. You can just scrape that against the edge of the pan. This is and wild. Wild. A little dish of sugar. So there's sugar and there's salt. The sugar is sugar. You can taste it to make sure. Because we want all of the sugar, but we just want a pinch of salt. Okay. Before we turn that on, take a let's take a peek. It's been 10 minutes on biscuits. So yeah. I just want you to open up your oven and with a kitchen towel, Pull the um, tray out and just spin it around so the guys who are in the back come up to the front. And then grab a um, rubber spatula, stir everything around, and then we're gonna get, make sure your vanilla seeds went in with everybody else. They did, they, they look did. crazy. Oh, I lost a strawberry, okay. The strawberries and the biscuits are gonna kind of be done around the same time. Okay, we gotta make whipped cream. Cool. Pour half of the cream into this bowl. How do I know what the half is? How do I oh, know? Oh, we pour the whole thing? Oh, we're pouring the whole thing. Whole container of cream. The whole thing? Whole thing. Yeah, can I just get in the mirror really quick? Yeah. Wait, what is happening? I was just checking the mirror. <laughs> I don't have a mirror. Well, I have unique unique Carla, challenges that a woman- You got me? Oh. <laughs> I'm wearing the hair down today. Okay, You're great. Right. All right, so pinch of salt, Trixie, from that same salt bowl, and then we're gonna use powdered sugar to taste. So start with like a couple spoonfuls. You should have spoons in your equipment caddy over there. You know, Give I was really against this apron, but now that I'm doing this, I'm glad I wore one. Before we start whipping, I wanna turn, let's turn this off. Scrape the berries right into the empty bowl on top of the ice. Oh, so you can cool it down quickly. We gotta cool it down quickly because if we put this together with the hot berries, it's just gonna turn into strawberry soup. And it's gonna congeal. Let's check our biscuits. Okay. Take a look at your biskies, Trixie. Mine look great. What do you, tell me oh. what yours, oh, do. The killer's inside the house. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah, they look good. <laughs> Did you burn yourself? No, no, no. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh my God, I feel like Casey Becker in Scream. <laughs> tell you me remember that? that? She's in the kitchen and she's like, <laughs> she's, let, wait, let me reenact it for you. This is my phone. <laughs> Yeah, I was about to watch a scary movie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, anyway, it's a great movie. <laughs> They're good? Okay, take the biscuits out. She's like, you're done. <laughs> so now our biscuits are waiting for us, our strawberries are waiting for us, and we just have to whip cream. So you're gonna try to like incorporate as much air as possible. So instead of like a whisking stirring, it's like a whisking whipping. You have longer arms. <laughs> oh, this is so exhausting. <laughs> I did oh something really similar to this this morning before I got in drag. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> Tell me when you're ready. We're gonna um, finish our strawberries. Um, no, I'm ready. Okay, great. All right, so just push that aside. Switch that out with the um, strawberry bowl. And then I want you to squeeze in like one of your lemon halves, like squeeze that juice in. Into the, the- Into the strawberries. Go ahead and grab the plate and pick the prettiest biscuit. Oh, we're plating. And then you're gonna um, just slice that open, you know, through the middle. So we Slice it down the middle? First thing is gonna be strawberries and not the whole bowl, but like a nice amount onto the bottom with as much strawberry juices as you want. I wanna get this runny stuff on it, right? Yeah. And then big dollop of whipped cream on top of the berries. And then we're gonna just 
set your top. I did this. I feel like I'm gonna start crying. Um, I'm ready. Are you ready? ready? Yes. I'm ready. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> okay, mine's a little dark. <laughs> you put your bottom half on the top. Oh, I did? <laughs> I mean, I'm it looks pretty it. good, right? It's inverted. It's amazing. <laughs> okay, mine looks like I read about it online and never saw a picture. Because look at the juices better. Well, that's why I was saying put your... <laughs> a little more juices. Yeah. We're going for James Beard, you know? We can also turn her over if you want to. You think? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Hey, listen, I'm sure, listen, it's, beautiful. it's gonna taste it's fine. It's perfect. Let's say the same thing my mom said every year on my birthday when right. she made me a cake. I'm sure it'll taste fine. It's exactly <laughs> right. Amazing shortcake. I can't believe it's it. It's incredibly beautiful. Thank you. I'm you really excited. It? Yeah, let's switch. Okay. And we didn't make soup. Perfectly whipped whipped cream, by the way. I can't believe it. Mm. Hold on. Oh, that wasn't a real bite. That was, <laughs> that was a baker. <laughs> Mm. I can't believe we made this. Mm -mm. Next time the tour bus comes through NYC, yeah. you want to come back? Yes, we should do an episode on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> we could make it on the bus, and it, the bus could be moving. Yes. They could what? be like, Trixie, how's your whipped cream? And yeah. I'll be like, it's really good. <laughs>